I think we should take a peek in there. And then we're oh. gonna do this. No, 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 don't do it. It's so little. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That cowboy Big Mac looks amazing. I would never be able to eat Big Mac again knowing that you can make one in steroids. Forget about it. What's up, YouTube? So I'll be reacting to the Big Mac, well, cowboy style. This should be an interesting one. But before I go into that, let me ask you for one thing. If you can leave a like, thank you so much for that. This is the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, oh man, you make my day. Now, let's go into the video. Let's see what this one is about. Link for the original one on, on the description. Give this content creator some love. And yeah, let's see it. Folks, we're taking an iconic fast food burger, the Big okay. Mac, to a whole different level. Oh my God. Okay, what the hell is this? I never saw that Big Mac on my McDonald's. So this is the transformation. Oh man, this will be a great video. Oh my God, that 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 looks amazing. Boy style, more meat, more special sauce, and on the grill. Hey, come on, I'll get the fire hot. <sighs> okay, let's go. I like this guy already. Okay, so a true cowboy actually. Oh my god, this Ooh, Kent Rollins. We may find a channel to do some reactions, I have a feeling. That's it. Okay. Ah, McDonald's. Are you excited? Uh -huh. I'm gonna get me something to eat that I didn't have to cook. <laughs> That's what I think when I go to McDonald's. Big Mac, just a sandwich and a, a large iced tea. Okay. And I need some six piece chicken nugget. A six piece chicken McNugget Which, for my beagle and my dude. Okay, good choices. She doesn't. No McFlurry? Okay, first time probably that is going there. I mean. No, who would beagle and Duke are? That's some. Hey, she ain't watched YouTube long enough or she'd know <laughs> who the beagle and Duke is. Okay. And if they have learned that you go to McDonald's and you don't bring them something home, they'll bite the tars off a pickup truck. The big man. I like this guy. Their version. There it is. Ah, it looks Extra okay. Research. Actually, it looks okay. You know, I like it. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard for another episode of Cowboy Cooking. What we're doing hey. here, hey, we're going to show you how to do some grilling. We're going to show you how to cook in a Dutch oven with coals. I mean, let's see everything it. you need to go outside and let's do some yep. great cooking. But hey, if you're a new viewer, I want to just tell you right now, reach up there and hit that subscribe button. I will after this video, 100%. And tips and tricks and techniques. I feel like this is a great, great channel. I love the personality of... Kent Rollins. I said the name correct, right? We're going to show you how to cook outside. Okay. The iconic sandwich from McDonald's, the Big Whew. Mac. Made I eat a good amount of toast, let, let, let me tell you. Its debut, 1968. Some of you might not okay. have been around then. <laughs> hey, I was, but I didn't get one till long about 1978 because there wasn't a McDonald's nowhere near us. But now these things are served all over the world. You can get a Big Mac nearly anywhere. But folks, you know True. the cowboy. We're going to jazz this thing up a little and we're going to make our own version of this Big Mac, but still keep it pretty traditionally. Now, first okay. thing we're going to look at is sesame seed bun. Who so we're going to keep fast food traditional. It lost me that a bit, but okay. Doesn't like a sesame seed bun. I really do. And, you know, they got that special sauce. Mm. But, look here. Toasted bun. We're going to do that. Okay. Now, this is a little thing that we may have to change. Yeah. This is called a patty of... Yeah, no, that's, yeah, I mean, the, I like Burger King more because of the meat. Um, the McDonald's, come on. <sighs> meat. They claim it weighs one eighth of a pound, but I did some research. That's two ounces. Yeah. So if you're talking about two of them and you do the math, help me out here, Andy, because I know you will. That's four ounces. Okay, this sounds of stuff, he, he lost me again because I'm European, but I, I trust him, so he's probably correct. That still ain't a half a pound. 
folks, we're going to change that up today, and we're going to load this rascal up with some beef. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can nearly see through them. I can't. I bet you so can. here we get down to their special sauce in here. Lettuce, onions, some pickles. But, folks, we have jazzed their special sauce up. Me and the big. It looks kind of trashy, I have to say it. That's why I don't open my burger, because... I don't know what's inside. Put a lot of hours of research into okay. what McDonald's puts in theirs, and we have changed it just a little. Toasted bun, more special sauce right down through there, ready mm. to go. So, we have got it deconstructed. Now it is time to construct it, but we're going to do it cowboy style. So, let's get things to going. Yeah. Now, the first thing we need to do is assemble this special sauce that goes on this special burger. Now, okay. I looked at theirs, and I tasted theirs, and I tried theirs, but hey, I'm going to tune it up just a little. Now, sure, we got to have that sweet relish. They got that in there. You got to have some diced onion. They got that in there. You got to have a little mustard in there. Ooh, we okay, I'm, I'm already lost, but uh, I trust. This is some type of witchcraft that is doing that, but I trust him so much that, okay, fine. Put whatever you want. What? It will be good. That chipotle pepper adobo sauce in there to get adobo it. salt. Now, I never heard of that, but okay. Remember, folks, when you put that apple cider vinegar, don't forget that teaspoon of sugar. It's so I'm going to mellow things. Okay, some there. onions. And it needs to set in the ice box about two hours. Stir it all up, set it in there to blend all them flavors together. Okay, okay. Now, you remember that little jingle they had? They said, two all beef patties, special sauce, pickles, lettuce, cheese on a sesame seed bun. Well, folks, let's talk about two patties. Hmm. Now, this is what you call two patties of meat. Oh, yeah. Shannon was telling me when I was putting all this together, you think you can get that eat? Oh, I can get this eat. This is 80-20 certified Angus beef, and we're going to start with, what is this? A half a pound and a half a pound. Whoa. Okay. You know how much that is in mathematicals? That is no. eight ounces. Now, remember that two... Oh, my God, the ounces again. Oh, okay, I, again, I trust him, so... ...as we had there a while ago... There is a lot of difference, folk. Okay. Sure, we're going to have a little shrinkage, but not that much. Mm. And when you season a burger that you're going to cook on the grill, do it when you get it ready to... That, that season looks kind of good, actually. ...throw on the grill. Don't be doing it before, because okay. if it's a processed meat, you're going to dry that meat out by doing that if you season it, and then just let it set. Okay. So be sure you season both sides. Good info. And give it a little pat what there. What are you using? What am I using? Yeah. The All-American Red River Ranch Original Seasoning. That's what everybody should use. Thank you for the infomercial. You can get it at www.kentrollins.com. You got me. I mean, but it looks good. I mean, yeah, probably, yeah, probably is. I, I, I will take a look in, in his website. Oh, thank you. So the Hasty Bake is fired up. We're going to put these on there and let the fun commence. So okay. Come on over. Well... Hot and Ooh, cool that's hot. Here. So you, you can see. Lay that first one on there, and there we oh, go. the oh, sound. Breeze. Lay that other one on there. Ah. Uh. Now, I'm going to cheat this a little. You don't have to at times, but hey, we're going to cook these three and a half to four minutes aside. But I'm going to trap a little of that heat in there, make them cook just a little bit faster. So, let's talk about a few grilling tips we got going on here. Okay. First of all, make sure that that grill is cleaned, make sure it is old, and make sure it is hot. How do you know how hot? Remember, you're putting your hand down there close to that grill. Can you hold it more than five seconds? It's probably not hot enough if we're grilling burgers. This is different than an indirect heat. We got them cold scattered plum out to where it's covering the whole grate, the whole grill. Man, this is great information. I'm sorry, I'm learning a lot grill itself because we want it to be hot when we're grilling them burgers okay well we got it on about four this side we have and i want to show you something you can see with that lid shut you're going to get a sweating action here and things are going to begin to glisten mm. and things are going to rise to the top see that there? Oh. Lid that's yeah yeah there and see this in here bubbling i think we can go ahead and do this right here and look it is pretty close to what i'm after I cannot see, I cannot now see anything, man, with, because of the smoke. The house and you was doing it McDonald's style, when you throw that burger in there, you'd go get your 60-pound anvil, put your spatula out there, lay the anvil on the spatula, and flatten the meat. Now, when you're cooking burgers, I don't like to mash them, because when you're mashing them, what's happening? 
you're mashing all that good flavor and juice out of them, and then you get something that's dry that you can hold up and see the sun through. We ain't gonna do that. Do not mash your burger, okay? Oh man, I never thought about that. I actually, I like to do that on my burgers. Well, I'm not doing that anymore. I, I learned today why that's wrong. Now, folks, you always be hearing them folks saying you can't be flipping your burger just like you can't be turning your steak. Here That's true. One time. No, you can check that burger. You can flip it. You ain't going to hurt it. Just remember, don't mash it. I Man, this guy knows everything about meat, about burgers. And the guy is a cowboy. How is this possible? And I'm sorry. Is this guy saying some BS and we are all believing it? I hope not. But... Let's see it. I mean, I, I went to see the final result and I hope someone tries the burger because we have to know. Let's see it. I need to look at it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to flip it. We are getting oh so close. If I can see it for the smoke. But don't be afraid to flip that burger, but don't flip it out there in the ocean. Okay. Man. Now, folks, when I'm cooking a burger and me and Shan and she even does it too, I like to be having a little fire so i'm gonna let her down just a little but mm. just take that spatula we ain't mashing i just want you to push and you can see just a little of that clear liquid come back to the top that's what you call a just right burger so i'm gonna take them set them right over here where they hardly know sure. holes. get these sesame seed buns ready to go in there and get toasted okay well we got them over here to one side and remember we just watched but what if I don't have this machine? That when we deconstructed that Big Mac and it was toasted buns, all except that middle one wasn't toasted on both sides. And how do you make the middle one? Well, folks, you get that really good bread knife and you just cut the top off one of them buns to where you have what? A middle bun. Yeah, that's how you do it. So let's get them on this grill. We're going to give them a little toasting, but also they're going to get a little smoke flavoring. Dude, am I crazy or this guy is a, is, a, is a genius? Did you guys saw how... Oh man, this was some type of... This was kind of science, you know? This was science. At the same time, and it won't take long as hot as that is. But remember that one that's cut on both sides? We got to toast him on both sides. Okay. How long? Well, we got them all cooked up. We got our little buns nicely toasted. We did. And folks, this is where it comes to the assembly line. And things are blowing around. If y'all think the glaring here, there, and yonder, it ain't lightning. No. So the assembly line is fixing to start. And this is one of the most important things when you're reconstructing the deconstructed Big Mac. That's a lot of work. Man, I, 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 I should have taken notes, notes because now I have to rewatch this video when I try to do a burger. But it seems like th there is a lot of things you have to follow. Ooh, this is a complex recipe. Words for me. So what is it first? It is some of this special sauce. Oh, the On sauce. Which one of them buns, Shan? I'm so confused. It is the one that is called the bottom. Now, I like to just go... So I cannot forget to put a name on one of the buns. Got it. Go ahead. Get me enough on there that I can taste. And folks... This here stuff is so good, you're going to be wanting to put it on. It seems a bit too much, Chef. It's okay, I mean, I, I trust him, so. On your hot dogs and everything you Maybe got, not. You're going to want to make it all summer long. What is next? Some finely chopped lettuce. Yep, just mm. like the Big Mac. So we just scatter them out right peaceful like. That looks good. And one thing I would have done different if it was me, I'd have put the cheese on maybe the bottom, but no. And they use that American cheese. Folks, we're going to use us some cheddar. And I'm going to trim it to fit, which is there. And I have these two cheese dogs right here that will help me Yeah, out. give them something. Thank you all very much. Now, I love dogs. At this point, guess what? That's what a lot of people would call just enough stuff to put on their burger. But ha uh, No. We got to have a burger to put on there. Yes. So here we go. There is that. So Oof. we're ready to go ahead with the middle bun. That is the one that we cut the top off of the top bun. Mm. So we got to have some more of that there special sauce to get ready to go back here. Just one side. This is important. You got plenty. If you put two sides, ruin, ruins. Completely ruins. Guess what? It is time for some more lettuce. Yeah, yeah. 
guess what comes after that? Cheese. They don't call for it, but old Kent's going to put it on there. Oh, tonight. yeah. That is some extra piece of cheese. Do it. And then you got two left for the cheese. Yeah, for the dogs. There you go. Go. So you can see we have nearly got there. It is time for what? That is what you call a burger, folks. And we're nearly Food. there. Then we're going to go ahead and take us some more of that special Oh, sauce. even... Oh, my God. That's good. Right here on the top. And pickles. We're going to have to have some pickles for Shan because she do love a pickle. Now, me, I would not be putting a pickle on it, but hey. Now, put a pickle. Authentic. Last one. And guess what we do now, Shane? <laughs> we give it a little mash. Now, folks, I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut this in half because I want to see all of them flavors. I also want to see it. Can y'all see the... Oh, my God. Look at the comparison. What a... Di oh, my God. What a disaster for, for McDonald's. I, I, I went a, a McDonald's, a, not a McDonald's, a Big Mac cowboy style. That looks kind of good. I might try to, to, to do one. Oh my God. Should I try to do one and record it? I know that, that I will fail quite bad. So no, no, no never mind. Never mind. That, this was a really bad idea. Never mind. Difference here. I mean, even if you, if you're standing away, away from the camera, can you see the difference here? Oh my God. I can see it. Yep. Jesus Christ! You see the difference when you that looks amazing. Now, this is a that's big crazy. McDonald's style. This is a big Mac. The true Big Mac. Style. You even got to have a muscle to hold this one up. Now, yeah. I want to tell you when you make that sauce and it does make extra, folks, you're gonna love this stuff. Just go ahead and seal it back up. Put it on your sandwiches, your hot dogs, more burgers. Dip your French fries in it. Whatever you got to do, but it is gonna be some fine dining. I would like to do this, I would. Okay. And I think we should take a peek in there. And then we're oh. going to do this. No, 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 don't do it. It's so little. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. That Cowboy Big Mac looks amazing. I would never be able to eat Big Mac again knowing that you can make one in steroids. Forget about it. <laughs> That's now, crazy. Don't get me wrong. I have eaten my share of them through the years. Uh, yeah, me too. One of the places that we stopped. But, hey, they're an old iconic restaurant that's still in business, still sure. doing great things. But when you could have one of these. Oh, man. Try it. Up to the drive up window and have one of them. So here we go, Dookie. Mm. Does it taste like a Big Mac? It tastes so much better than a Whoa. Big Mac. <clears throat> I mean, this guy's great. <sighs> We're going to do the Ronald McDonald Shuffle. Okay. Do what? <laughs> the Golden Arches. Aha. Uh -huh. Ain't no Hardee's, nor is it a Mackey. I... I was not expecting that from him, but um, I love him even more now. These ain't no drive up window and a menu you won't see, but what you will see is good, fine dining. Folks, the star of the show, hey, I love some beef, but the star of the show today, the Cowboys special sauce with that chipotle pepper and adobo sauce mixed in there, kicks it all up to a brand new level. But as always, I believe it. Hat, and I thank you to all our American servicemen and women and all the veterans and all the people who keep our country safe for letting that old flag fly with freedom. We appreciate it one and all. We do. But also have some special shout outs this week. Big's girlfriend, he's been getting love letters in the mail from Molly the Muncher. Yeah. By the way, I actually love his message to all the people that protect America. I also respect those people a lot. Yeah, I think they're hitting it off. Would make a good team. Might not have enough food to feed them all, but hey, it'll be good. And also a friend of mine up there in Canada, John Tom. Hey, stay warm up there on the northern side, my friend. It is going to be warming up soon. And remember, it is a cowboy version of a... Oh, man, man. what a great video. Trail. God bless you each and every one. Okay, so actually, <laughs> I was jogging a bit on the video, but I really enjoyed the video and the uh, Kent Rollins. Uh, oh man, what uh, a great, a great uh, 
a great um, a great cowboy, you know, because I, I really like the, the way you end up cooking this this one. If you're not enjoying the reaction, feel free to leave a like. Really means a lot to me. It's the best way to show support. And I hope you had fun. See you guys next time.